and PR to I'm not judging I'm not judging you, right? I'm totally not judging you guys. But I'm fucking judging you guys. <laughs> right? Yeah, bullshit. Yeah, Sammy. Yeah, Sammy's right. It's bullshit. It's absolute bullshit. Like I've I've mentioned this on Twitter. I know I say that a lot, but I do talk about this stuff a lot on Twitter, right? These kinds of people do this all the time where they go, "Listen, Ellie, I love fan service. Fan service. I don't have a problem with fan service. Fan service. Like, look, look. I love boobs, right? I, I like the boobs. I like the women and the and the. I like the sexy things. But big capital letters, bold italics. But I think that it's a massive problem with society. It's only it only is allowed to exist in a small corner out of the out yeah. of view. Yeah, you have to. You, you can only only enjoy the gushing over magical girls behind. If you know the shame. Closet door. Yeah, yeah. You have to. You have to um stay in the closet, right? You can you can do your little your little gay bum sex stuff, right? But you have to you have to do it behind closed doors and in the cupboard, right? You can't you can't you're not allowed to come out of the closet, right? You gotta you gotta you, you stay in the right right. You know, you know, and, and I know it seems silly to kind of relate it to that, right? But it's it's the is a very similar argument, right? Like, he's again, he's he's Madoka. like. Listen, I I I can agree to the extent I think that you know age ratings, maybe the site should have a toggle for adult content or mature content, you know that kind of thing. That's fine, right? Maybe that setting should be on by default, and you have to opt out, right? Like I, I, I can, I can compromise, right? I am willing to compromise and say that High Dive should have, and I don't use High Dive, right? But High Dive should have maybe an, a mature section toggle thing, Peggy, right, to stop uh, the uh, things that are you know in the in the stuff because uh, I believe mm. that. Uh, I don't. I've, I haven't watched TV <laughs> movies in for, a long but, time. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. Uh, Peggy shows. All right, this movie. Yeah, has... Peggy. Yeah, Peggy. Peggy's fine. This is. I actually think this is really disgusting. I think this is like I'm gonna. I'm gonna be a bit of a moral fag myself for a minute. I think this is incredibly disingenuous and and disgusting, right? Because if he wanted to make this point, I would agree that yes, maybe we should have some level of protect like as a compromise some level of protection and age rating and mature content filters and all that because yeah some people don't want to look at you know mature content and that's fine that's that's someone's subjective thing if they don't want to see it that's fine and there are plenty of content filters on places like twitter and other websites where yeah if you want to filter out all of that stuff so you don't have to see it go right ahead there's no problem with that but to make it out that you can just go on to high dive and be just blasted with you know the sexual content is quite frankly absurd and i hope we've demonstrated good enough that this is this he's completely wrong and this is this is probably one of the most disingenuous things i've seen in a while like this is actually this is like he should actually fucking address this right in my view because this is just bad Capable of making your own choices regarding how much cake you can eat without harming your health. The problem comes from making that cake easily accessible to people who could be hurt by it. I have said repeatedly, though mm, never in a video nice. I don't think, that I don't have any problem with shows like Gushing Over Magical Girls existing. My problem comes from them being advertised on the front page of High Dive like they're harmless comedies when they are literal fetish porn featuring high school oh, girls being sexually assaulted. I'm and PR to I'm not judging I'm not judging you, right? I'm totally not judging you guys. But I'm fucking judging you guys. <laughs> right? Yeah, bullshit. Yeah, Sammy. Yeah, Sammy's right. It's bullshit. It's absolute bullshit. Like I've I've mentioned this on Twitter. I know I say that a lot, but I do talk about this stuff a lot on Twitter, right? These kinds of people do this all the time where they go, "Listen, Ellie, I love fan service." Fan service. I don't have a problem with fan service. Fan service. Like, look, look. I love boobs, right? I I like the boobs. I like the women and the and the. I like the sexy things, but big capital letters, bold italics. But 
I think that it's a massive problem with society. It's causing the detrimental destruction of the entire fabric of our existence as human beings and is causing all these massive problems that need to be 100% addressed and are, it's going to cause a downfall in civilization and the fall of Rome. Yeah, and he's, he's to, being a weird Puritan. There's this massive, there's a, well, let me finish. There's this massive fucking problem with it. But I'm not saying that we should ban it, though. And I'm not saying that we should we should do anything about it. Right? Right? Like that that's what I don't fucking get it. Right? How can you like his entire first quarter of his video is this is a problem with society. This is objectively evil. This is objectively a, a mess. It's causing people to think that rape is okay, right? It is it is so horrifically bad. And I hate that it's being advertised and promoted and and so and so. But I'm not being judgmental. Yeah. Right? It's he's bullshit. Being, I'm he's, sorry. He's being a weird Puritan. He is. He is being a weird Puritan, right? Like, because again, he has not explained, like, he just makes the statement that gushing over magical girls is promoting the sexualization of kids, right? He just makes that statement as if it's a factual statement, right? And runs with the assumption that everyone agrees with him. When I mean, I do you think that gushing over magical girls promotes the sexualization of children, Ellie? Because I don't. <laughs> no. Yeah. So he, he, he has we, to we prove to, uh, to us. He has to prove to us how it does actually promote the sexualization of children, right? So, so like, it's only it only is allowed to exist in a small corner out of the out yeah. of view. Yeah, you have to. You, you can only only enjoy the gushing over magical girls behind. If you know the shame. Closet door. Yeah, yeah. You have to. You have to um stay in the closet, right? You can you can do your little your little gay bum sex stuff, right? But you have to you have to do it behind closed doors and in the cupboard, right? You can't you can't you're not allowed to come out of the closet, right? You gotta you gotta you, you stay in the right right. You know, you know, and, and I know it seems silly to kind of relate it to that, right? But it's it's the is a very similar argument, right? Is it like because I I can guarantee you, if you went back in time, people that were anti like homosexuals, right? Like really, like the big evangelical types, right? Mm -hmm. They would be saying the exact same arguments he's saying here. Look, guys, I'm not trying to be judgmental. You know, you gay people, you know, you can do do what you want, but look, just don't. Don't, don't, you know, don't kiss in public, you know? Why do you have to kiss in public, right? Why do you have to show affection for your, your gay lover in public, right? Like, you could, couldn't you just do that at home, right? You know? Maybe? Yeah. <laughs> like, it's, 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 it's right. It's very Puritan. And I, the fact that he doesn't really recognize this is a big problem, right? With, I think, leftism. <laughs> to, to, to be an asshole, right? I I, I think that left is the, le the left has a puritanism problem right now, right? And they really need to fucking do something about it because it is causing so many issues. Um, I've gotten into some arguments with people because people will counter you and say, "Well, I mean, the left doesn't have any institutional power, right? The left don't don't actually, you know, have the ability to influence anything, right?" despite the fact that the left basically controls culture right now, that most higher education, you know, places lean leftist and cater to leftists and have leftist teachers and all of this stuff. I can agree that right-wingers have their own forms of power via, you know, focus groups and packs and, you know, influencing Credit groups companies. that are doing credit card companies, you know, put, pr putting pressure on credit card companies to do certain things and whatnot. I 100% agree with that, and I think that's bad, and the right-wingers should be called out on that. But to, to make the argument that the left is not also contributing to that by allowing culturally that puritanism to continue to fester, I think is a failing of the left, All right? right? Let's that's, get the interview. Kind of, yeah, let's, yeah, let's keep going know what this show is. I am capable of making an informed decision about whether or not the content in it is going to be harmful to me. Someone browsing High Dive looking for a cute magical girl show to pass the time would not be in the wrong for clicking the first link they see on the homepage and thinking that it's going to give them what they want. That is not making an informed decision. 
but you could say the same thing about a lot of things like why isn't he making the same argument about change soldier or any of the other what shows was it, what was it? Here? ray zero or, or slave ray zero slave hey, soldier ray. like oh psychopaths or whatever like he's again he's he's Madoka. like listen i i i can agree to the extent i think that you know age ratings maybe the site should have a toggle for adult content or mature content you know that kind of thing that's fine right maybe that setting should be on by default and you have to opt out right like i i i can i can compromise right i am willing to compromise and say that high dive should have and i don't use high dive right but high dive should have maybe a a mature section toggle thing right to stop uh, things that are you know in this in the stuff because uh i believe Mm. that uh, I don't. I I haven't watched TV <laughs> movies in before, a long but, time. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. Uh, Peggy shows. All right, this movie. Yeah, has... Peggy. Yeah, Peggy. Peggy's fine. Yeah, Peggy's fine. Right, Peggy. P, or P, you know, P, you know, uh, PG, G, R, R sixteen. Right. You know, yeah, you it, it, it doesn't work got, with the with box the... has got sexual content. I'm willing to bet if you click on gushing over magical girls, right on high dive, right, and you look at it, it will have an age rating with a content description on it. I can guarantee. Well, you, just right? just put I, on I, a sexual uh, content included and on whatever else it has. All right, uh, drug use and and mm. uh, language basically. That that's uh, mm. that's that you put up. You put up. Uh, I don't know. You know, language and sexual content on uh, gushing over magical. Hi everyone, editing Naretsu here. Um, while I was editing this video, this this little clippy clippy Reno. Um, I discovered when I was looking for the high dive lo- I'll go for the thumbnail that you can in fact get into a different version of the website uh, and this version of the website allows you to actually look at the uh, pages for the animus so let's uh, quickly have a little look see because I don't want to be a be a be a be a disingenuous boy here right I don't want to be I don't want I would I don't want to be an asshole right I don't want to be an asshole uh, so let's have a look, shall we? Let's have a look. So yeah, so you got you got your. Uh, you, you, it is true that the, you know they advertise the shows, right? They they've got big 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 advertising, right? Right. Um, and yeah, you can in fact click on different shows. So if you click on Gushing Over Magical Girls, right, it'll come up with a little page here. Now now it says here, you know, you've got your TV rating, right? You've got you've got TVMA, so it does have an age rating. I would agree that perhaps <laughs> I like that it's a uh, yeah it's LGBT. <laughs> it's L- LGBT is quite funny, but um I would agree that perhaps maybe High Dive could do a better job of um adding content ratings and stuff. And I said as much in the cast, right? So you know, not it's not necessarily a massive deal. Um, but you also can't unless you have it because I'm not signed in and I don't have an account with them you can't actually watch it either so that point still stands but I just kind of wanted to be fair to explanation point right because when new information presents itself sometimes it can be a bit tricky when you're live and you don't you know you don't have the correct information or the correct links or the correct uh thingamabobs right you know it's it's kind of it's kind of a bit of a problem right so I figured I'd just pop pop in real quick and just kind of be like hey look you can't. You can possibly stumble upon uh, gushing over magical girls, but I do think that my point still stands. That it's not like children are going to be coming on to high dive and just accidentally watching gushing over magical girls without an account. Even though I d- would agree that perhaps high dive could be doing more with its content filtering. So anyway. Uh, that's, that's about all that I'm going to, uh, say here, and, uh, yeah, let's get back to watching me melt down over, <laughs> over, over, our man here. Uh, so I'm just gonna get rid of, get rid of that, and get rid of that, and, uh, I'll, I'll see you guys later. Bye! Goodbye. I'm going for Magical Girls, and you're golden. You're fine. So, I am on high dive right now. And I'm not logged in because I don't think I have an account. So I can't even click on it if I'm not logged in. So you have to have an account to actually view, I think, the the, the pages, right? 
because I'm because I'm on the same page he's on. I'm literally I'm literally looking at the same thing he is. I can't even click on it because I'm not logged in. So you would have to have a high dive account to even be able to view gushing over magical girls, right? So you can't just browse the library unless you like have access to high dive already, right? So I don't really see what because if someone already has a high dive account and they already have a high dive subscription, right? I, I I'm highly doubtful that they wouldn't already like at least be familiar with anime, right? Or, or be in the know, right? Yeah, I don't think it's a kind of niche. Yeah, so I don't I don't see his object ob, objection here, like. If a kid like stumbled upon high dive, right, and saw gushing over magical girls on high dive, I, I'm like, you hear that? You, you hear that? That's me trying yeah. to click it. I can't, I, I can't, I can't see it. I can't, I can't get into it, right? I'd have to sign up and 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 go through the sign up process, and and I don't know if you have to have a free trial or not to be able to view the content pages, right? Like it's not like current because on Crunchyroll you can like view because you can watch stuff for free on Crunchyroll, right? So you can view the content descriptions of things right so yeah so i'm kind of like this point seems null and void to me because you know i would have to so i'm not going to go through the process of signing up to high dive just yeah. to, like own this man on the internet but i i mean does high dive have a content filter does high dive ever you know if you click on high dive Mushroom does it show says it has tvma so i assume mature so so it does have age ratings and and stuff listed on the page of the of the show right like it do, it does actually like have the content i don't know what's basically TVMA, uh, stands i for. think that's uh i don't know if that's american or british it's one of the because we because we use piggy right like you use piggy i use mm, i think we have European new zealand has its own something. new zealand has its own ratings board but we New Zealand has this thing where we, if if we don't have, if something's not rated in New Zealand, it defaults to whatever the other country's age rating is, right? So if it's like Australian age rating or Piggy, right, it will just use Piggy, right? So it's not, you know, it doesn't matter, right? Yeah, Mary Jake says it's material. It's TV. It's TV mature, basically, right? Mm. So, oh, so again, this argument that oh, some four year old is going to stumble upon. <laughs> You know, no, or some it, impressionable it, young lad is gonna stumble upon gushing over magical girls when it's too, you know he's too young to be able to, you know, have that content, right? I I I think I think that's 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 invalid. I don't know about you. Yeah, you let's continue. You think that's yeah. You think you think we have spent too much time? Yeah, let's, let's to watch literal fetish porn and making it so readily accessible to anyone who happens across the platform is incredibly irresponsible. And I'll be damned if go. Well, I mean, I I we, just we proved can't. that we can't. I literally just proved that if you don't sign up for the content, the the, the account, you can't access it. So that's null and void. He's he's. I don't know whether or not that is um could be ignorance because perhaps he has an account so he's just assuming everyone else has an account right which is a bad assumption to make right because you know what if it's just someone who's like browsing I think there's a small or... thing of uh no maybe he assumes that people pirate it but you can't maybe you can't but he's say specifically that. talking but he's but he's specifically talking about high dive though yeah it's weird high dive. it doesn't make sense yeah never mind yeah, it's a it's a silly argument to me. So yeah, this is this is null and void. This is a dumb point. Going to one of the most popular anime streaming services and seeing this right on the front page isn't going to really sour an outside. Well, the thing is, is like, again, you'd only you don't you'd only see that if you logged in, right? Because I'm looking at it right now, and it, it, it doesn't look like that at all. It looks like what I see is I see like the bit at the bottom. Actually, you know, fuck it, I'll just. A copy right because i just typed in high dive into my, my my search engine and just hit enter right so so i just typed in high dive and let the web engine do its thing right mm -hmm. and so I'll, i'm just gonna link you the website right i'm gonna just link it to you right that's the link i'm on right so you bring that up and you just tell you tell me or you sh bring up your web browser on the stream One and you just, sh just show what we're looking at right show us what we're looking at right this this this, this is what we've got i'll wait for it to, to pop up when you 
One Cause second. this is important because this is this guy is literally spreading misinformation <laughs> like, this is straight up just lying right like straight up um yeah the train chain soldier ad which is less yeah so train chain soldier is less of a big deal apparently even though that's all about the, the man i guess it's not a big deal because the man is the subservient one i guess, right? but, you know, like, <laughs> I guess it's fine because leftism all right, here we go. We're transitioning, right? Transitioning yeah. over. Um, yeah. So this is the this is this is what you see, right? So if you go to highdive.com and you don't have an account, this is what you see. You see, right? There's a list of anime, right? And you can flip you can flick through them, right? You can flick through those little animes, right? But you can't. You, if you click on them, you can't like look at them, right? And it's just hey start your free trial start your free trial look oh look there's another anime start your free trial here's you know, none of this is straight up porn or anything right it's just normal anime like you've got dungeon you know pick up girls in a dungeon you've got the romance show with the kid and the, and the big titty girl you got you know oshinokoi right you got you know shadow right and you can you can flip through the animes right you can see gushing there right but you can't yeah you can't oh you can't watch it you can't open it you can't do anything you have to click sign in and actually sign in to get anything else there's no other thing you can do on this page right so you either have to sign up for a free trial or you have to log into your account to be able to view it it's, yeah it's literally just images right so what what the fuck is he talking about yeah. that kids or whatever are going to stumble across high dive unless you unless you actually have a high dive account and you go into high dive with an account you're not going to see this stuff so this is i actually think this is really disgusting i think this is like i'm gonna i'm gonna be a bit of a moral fag myself for a minute i think this is incredibly disingenuous and and disgusting right because if he wanted to make this point i would agree that yes, maybe we should have some level of protect, like as a compromise, some level of protection and age rating and mature content filters and all that. Because yeah, some people don't want to look at you know mature content, and that's fine. That's that's someone's subjective thing. If they don't want to see it, that's fine. And there are plenty of content filters on places like Twitter and other websites where yeah, if you want to filter out all of that stuff so you don't have to see it, go right ahead. There's no problem with that. But to make it out that you can just go on to high dive and be just blasted with, you know, the sexual content is quite frankly absurd. And I hope we've demonstrated good enough that this is, this he's completely wrong. And this is, this is probably one of the most disingenuous things I've seen in a while. Like this is actually, this is like, he should actually fucking address this. Right. In my view, because this is just bad. It's just, just bad video making. Observers view of the anime community and they'll probably- Oh yeah! It, what does it all come back down to, Ellie? What does it all come back down to? The community? It, to? The, it all comes back to, how do outsiders view the community? Oh. How, how would my mum feel if she knew I watched Magical Girls, right? How, oh man, how would, oh, the, oh, the poor, oh. What would the normies normies don't fucking care, dude? I hate to break this to you, but like the 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 normies don't fucking care. No, right? the normies watch anime on Netflix and whatever is on Netflix. <laughs> the they the like. normies watch anime on Netflix and they watch shit that's like vastly got worse content than fucking um anything that fucking um anime can give you like we're what we're talking about like people watch stuff like game of thrones they'll watch stuff like reacher which is very violent there's a lot of violence in reacher um there's a lot of fucking other shows i could think of that have co mature content in them that like even breaks that happen in it right and let's there's see. so we got much Cyber. we got cyberpunk even jelly on here uh this is uh, the, this oh yeah there. look at this yeah uh, oh. La, 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 yeah la. oh yeah you're on netflix yeah look look what yeah this, Scott this, one, looks, this, this one looks scary Pluto. yeah uh, <laughs> it's scary well, that's face Barky is on there. People get their faces smashed in on Barky, you know, like Barky's a fucking big one. Uh, yeah, there's like new on tons of anime on there. Yeah, not Tokyo Ghoul, right? 
shit. You know, there's 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 tons of hey, shit. Hey, V-Star, that has some rapey, murdery things going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So again, like, the, the, what what is it? The normies don't act like. I think there's a problem here that that the normies care about this stuff as much as you know, they 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 just complete like the only people that actually care about this stuff are the woke woke scold people that he is trying to be friends with right the 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 the, the fucking lefty oh i hate sexual content because it's misogynistic and, and you know problematic and evil and whatever right those are the people he's trying to impress here right not like the normies don't fucking care <laughs> you can, you, well, you, well, he cares. He cares what you think, what others think of he him. He cares about the public perception of the anime community and his hobby or whatever. And I, I've, I've been on record before saying I think a lot of that's bullshit, right? Like, just like what you fucking like. Like, why, why should I give a fuck about what some random dude on the street thinks about fucking gushing over magical girls? I don't fucking know him. Right? I don't know random internet fucking weirdo on Twitter, right? Who is going to be crazy. Like, I'll call him a dumbass or whatever because it's on the internet, so who cares? But, like, you know, I, I think it's just nonsense. It's absolute nonsense. Um, I'm trying to, 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 yeah, tracking back to hours ago. Uh, yeah, it's being performative. Yeah, it's being, perf he's being performative right now. He's, he's trying to appeal to, a gr to his group, right? To his in group. But anyway, it's good to be right for it. Just like before with shows like Gate.